Yes, I am amused. The bandits will be here again soon, brothers. We'll make our final stand. Give them a few scars before they slit our throats. We're with you, Rai. We are all tired of running. Our blood oath to the soil is unbreakable. Why are you hiding amongst these ruins? A Magi. The gods show mercy at last. My name is Rai, and this is what's left of my family. Bandits chased us from our farms. We have nowhere else to go. We have nothing of value, yet they've pursued us for days across this wasteland. I've seen many bandits. They are cynical and callous. They killed so many. My father, my son. Those here are all who remain of our village. The bandits will come again to finish us. Stand with us, Mejai. Help us get vengeance at least. Vengeance is my creed. I will help you. Tell me your plan. There is a cliff not far from here. From there we'll be able to see the whole area and plan our defense. Let's go. This wasteland is perilous. If it's not bandits, it's hyenas or some other beast. Thankra, my father, taught me how to use a bow. That is a nice weapon. It has an unusual make. When my father gave it to me, it was taller than me by three hands. Boys teased me without mercy. Now it's a sadness to me. It only reminds me of him. So, there is a symbol of Horus, but it is changed slightly. They look ancient. What is this place? You are fast along the rocks, Ra. I know these caverns. They are a natural temple. What is that necklace you wear? An old eagle skull. I hope it brings us luck. Stay here for hours. Okay. Enough of the view. We have to plan. Wherever the bandits come from, my brothers will be ready for them in the ruins. I'll stay up here and keep watch. When they show, I'll give a signal. Then I'll attack from behind. I mean no disrespect, Rai. But you are not soldiers. These bandits are killers. Your farmer friends may not walk away from this fight. I know, Bayek. I'm scared out of my mind. If your family died in your arms, you would understand. I cannot walk away now. Believe me, I do understand. And I will fight with you. For now, I will head back to the others. You should hurry. It's a long way back down the mountain.
Must Magi. take my bearings. You were saying... Magi! You've returned! Yes. Your sister is staying on the cliff. She will signal when the bandits approach. These ruins are narrow. It could be worthwhile setting traps. Fire and oil, perhaps. But do you have supplies? Fire? A, a fine idea. Yes, we do. They're nearby. Good. Head up to that roof and keep watch. I will join you soon. I could use the oil jars to set traps for the bandits. By the way, I should speak to Rai's brother again when I am ready. I am ready. Then we wait and pray. There they are! The bandits are here! Hey! Huh? We see you, little mice. Think you can hide from us? Where's the woman? Hand over the boat. Maybe we'll let you go. There are more of them out there, and they will return. They were after Father's bow. What? All this just for an old bow? Gods, why? It doesn't make sense. I would have given it to them. Maybe we still can. They would have killed you anyway. There is only one way to stop men like this. I have to hunt down their leader. I saw them come in from the southeast. They could be camping in the foothills nearby. And that is where I will begin my search. Bayek, before you go, please, take the bow. We'll be safer if you have it. It was damaged in the fighting, and it only brings me sadness now anyway. I'm sure it still has some power. You honor me, Rai. The bow is Egyptian, but older than anything I have seen. It is deceptively light, and the balance is perfect. The limbs are made partly of a strange black stone. It is familiar. I will look into it after I've dealt with this murderous leader. Get light up! You are 
A letter from the bandit leader. He's collecting ancient weapons. He wanted this boss so badly he killed for it. But why? He is not here. They have a new hideout in a nearby tomb. They think themselves unfindable. Well, my friends, here I come. Bandit leader is in this tomb. Gods. This is ancient. There is something unusual about this stonework. The markings are similar to those on Rai's bow.
was ancient treasure in these mountains. I think I've never seen nothing like it.
Huh. <laughs> 
heavily guarded. Ah! <laughs> 
Madras greedy Nekatia did. He will not be troubling the farmers anymore. He was carrying shards of black stone, probably found in the tomb beyond. It is the same material used on Rai's bow. It fits. Should do the trick. It fits. Should do the trick. Now it is a fine weapon. Transmission. Segment 4. Acquiring Contemporaneity. It has been 99 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. On the 21st day of December 2012, Desmond activated the Global Aurora Borealis device and protected the Earth from the sun's deadly coronal mass ejection. On the 21st day of December 2012, humanity carried on without a care in the world. People went to work, people went to school, and people went to the well for water. On the night of December 21st, 2012, as the sun set on their days, humankind went to bed. On the morning of December 22nd, 2012, humankind was graced with yet another morning. They never knew that on the previous day, the world almost ended. We thought that would have been... enough. And it was, until it wasn't. Time is unyielding, 
it always corrects itself. The language of time works in many ways, two of which you can understand, as you are now. Linear continuity is a simulation that allows for variations. Within the linear continuity, there are nodes, choke points, moments where algorithms converge the flows of superposed possibilities to a single moment where only one absolute truth is possible. Paths are fluid. Continuous. Nodes are static. Changeless. And the wave function collapses the paths into nodes which branch out. Again and again. And again. And so I wonder, can you feel the wave collapsing? Trying to course correct Desmond's act of defiance? The incoming node needs the world to end. The algorithms have been carving the flow of possibilities towards that end for over 100 years now. A labyrinth of trenches filled with mud and mustard gas. Families cowering in fear as V2s vaporize their dwellings. Fire born from the bellows of the Los Alamos laboratory, fueling global catastrophes. The Serpikov 15 incident of 1983. The Doomsday Clock, tucked away in an office at the University of Chicago. It's needle moving as the years go. The node is near. Perhaps you knew, perhaps you felt it too. That the world is closing in on you. Transmission, segment four, acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 99 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. On the 21st day of December 2012, Desmond activated the global Aurora Borealis device and protected the Earth from the sun's deadly coronal mass ejection. On the 21st day of December 2012, humanity carried on without a care in the world. People went to work, people went to school, and people went to the well for water. Thank you.